I think we can. I think we should do a super cut at the beginning of this episode that is just us talking about cutting things, and then like a quick written thing that just says sometimes the footage jumps. <laughs> now you know why. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of the Skeleton Crew. We're really excited to be bringing to you today an early look at the upcoming cozy dinosaur island game Paleo Pines. And we want to give a special thanks to Modus Games and Italic Pig, the developers of the game, for providing us with an early access demo copy uh, so that we could show off as soon as possible the gameplay of the demo. But before we start diving into Paleo Pines, first we want to remind you that this coming Saturday, June 17th, we have our charity live stream benefiting the Trevor Project. This is going to run from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern Time, and we have a whole slew of activities planned. Come join us while we rank Indominus Rex live as part of our Jurassic World Evolution 2 tier list. Join us as we build Jurassic Park 30th anniversary Lego sets. Uh, and we'll continue playing Paleo Pines and have some special guests from the development team coming to talk about the game. All of these things are things you're not going to want to miss. So join us on June 17th. And remember that this is a charity stream, so please come and donate. The first 100 donors over $5 are going to be receiving an exclusive sticker gift as a thank you for donating. And the largest donor for the whole stream will be receiving the, a gift of a custom piece of art by Henry Sharp. So Brain. tune in and donate, please. It's for a wonderful cause. We're all looking forward to being there, chatting with the audience as we do all of these things. Um, and stay tuned to the channel for more updates regarding the schedule of content for the stream. We are contractually obligated to answer every question you ask us. Yeah, absolutely. Honestly. Every single one of them. Yeah. Whether we know the answers or not, we will provide correct answers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So come on the 17th. It's going to be a blast. We're really looking forward to it. And I think we have the opportunity to raise a lot of money for a really excellent cause in celebration of Pride Month. So come, really come early, come at the middle, come at the end, come when you can. If you come at the end, we'll all be very tired and playing Warzone. So it'll probably be the most fun at that point. <laughs> oh, it'll be a blast. We'll oh, be yeah. on for 12 hours. It'll be great. And now before we dive into today's content on Paleo Pines, as always, we should introduce ourselves I am, once again, Dalton Meyer. I'm a PhD candidate at Yale University. I am, never again, Amelia Zietlow, PhD candidate at the American Museum of Natural History. I am, for a limited time only, Scott Johnston, the vertebrate paleontology fossil preparator and technician at Harvard University's Museum of Comparative Zoology. I am Alexander Rubenstahl, a PhD candidate at Yale University. And together, we're the, we're the skeleton crew. Well, most of us together. Most of James, us. James can't be here. He's at a conference. Without, so. without James. Well, OK, actually, I'm seeing an opportunity right here. Um, we have a character creator. We can make Let's we make can James. build a Jimbo. What's the most Italian we can make this thing look? I've I've already <laughs> tested this out last night to see. I have a I have a robustness index for how well a game can make myself, because it turns out I have a very makeable face. Almost every mm -hmm. game with a character creator, you can make a pretty convincing Dalton. The one thing that we're we're lacking in this one is facial hair. That really kind of usually oh, damn puts, it. The, puts the ribbon on it. Maybe you can oh. buy it in the store because it looks like you can buy new clothes. Uh, so let's continue. Um, wow, I just, I'm going to you know, pull up a photo of James. <laughs> we're, without, course, without Jimbo, we're like, you know, like, God, we're like an alternative medicine Specialist, doctorless. We are doctorless. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do. Um, so of course, so we're not going to tell him we're doing this until the video drops. No, tomorrow. obviously of not. not. Ghost pale, <laughs> pink eyes. He's not that pale. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you need to get like Jimbo's. You are... need to really. Can you sink his eyes back in his skull? I mean, all of us, <laughs> all of our eyes, as paleontologists, are just just deep. I think that would haunt the other residents of Paleo Pines too much. And so hey, the, this is a we've safely a cozy been... community where they're not going to make, you know, they're not going to hate on him because he looks like a ghoul. <laughs> it's true. There's no judgment here. The, you made him um, jaundiced. What? Let's, this looks like a flying skin tone. I say it looks better. Yeah. yeah. What color? What, 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 what beautiful eyes does he have? What are those piercing? 
I believe he's brown. got brown eyes. <laughs> <laughs> brown, brown we go. <laughs> I'm double my checking to Hazel. make sure. I'm brown gonna double check to go. make sure we're not getting our own friends' eye colors wrong. Wait, what is what is everyone's eye color? Here? What Scott? What are you? I'm like a blue, like a blue green. That's pretty, Amelia. Blue. You're not gonna show us. I'm That's not fine. Do you and get close? I've them. got green eyes, and for anyone retina scanning, mine are hazel. They look brown, but they're not. Jesus, you're not even <laughs> looking at the camera. You're looking at yourself. I want you to get the side. Ah, uh, take this hat off. See, not brown. I probably like in the. Oh, shoes. there we go. Oh, there we go. That was actually a pretty good gym. Oh That's no, wait. Pretty, wait yeah. this there. Is the hair oh, there we go. go. That's better. Um, oh. Do we like the color? Or do we want it to be? It's a pretty dark brown. It's, no, it's almost black. Yeah. 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 That's pretty good. Well, let's double check the styles. Make sure there's no. Oh, that looks. That looks good. He's he's bald, right? He's. <laughs> we can do him in ten years. <laughs> no, he's got good hair roots. Um. This might be the best for, for Jimbo. Yeah. What's going on with the back? Oh, pigtails. Oh, pigtails. <laughs> Something's happening back there. That's the oh. best. Hold, hold on a minute. That's adorable. This looks like his Twitter profile picture shirt. Yeah. Can we chunk him up a bit? Um, you can't change the proportions. Can we shrink him down back. a little bit? <laughs> Yeah, can we make him short? Oh, that's dapper. That's very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> what what outfit is giving Jimbo? Um, I think the blue Usually button, button that he had before yeah. was pretty good. The blue button up. There's also the plaid button up. Nah, blue button. Oh, up. blue. Yeah. No, he's been known to wear a leather jacket on occasion. Full sleeves or short sleeves. Mm. Long. He's usually wearing long sleeves. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right, now for for the pants situation. Jeans. I like Damn, the that's... shrug he just did. <laughs> Put on the jeans. What like, do those Man. shorts look like? Those are wish. Those are later hose. It looks like. Give him, give him the mini skirt he's always talking about on our red bubble. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah. You want your red bubble mini skirt, Jimbo? Here you go. <laughs> Apron. Rudy's baking. Let him cook. I do like the strawberry shorts a little bit, I won't lie. He would never wear them. No, he wouldn't wear them. He doesn't wear clothes because they're funny, unlike me. And um, <laughs> Some sensible khakis. A little belt. I don't think it would. How do your pants say? I don't belt. think I've ever seen him wear anything other than jeans. Then jeans. Yeah. All right, well, we'll give him the jeans. Nice. We can get more clothes. Shoes. Or we can give him one of these like pre-made outfits of like a little farmer, uh, flower. No. Rain, rain gear. It looks well, like this a, one actually gives me Scott vibes. I like jeans. Yeah. Oh, it does. I was I was about to say yeah. that um, looked like a, one of the like breeders from Pokemon, like character. We'll go with wow. That. So there's no way to make like an ugly or off-putting character in this game. Yeah, and we're trying. <laughs> oh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> we love you, Jane. Um, what kind of shoes? What, what, what kind of uh brown? What Jordans is he rocking? They're usually like brown, like not leather, but leather esque dress, dress shoes, shoes. Yeah, yeah. I think either this, this more absolutely rizzless, or this. I like the green socks. <laughs> I like the green socks that don't match any of the other articles. No. <laughs> absolutely. All right, no. I think we've got our guy. Perfect. Dr. Jimbo, put some respect Jimbo, on his yeah. name. Like we haven't been doing this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Or Viridian Valley in different weather. You never know what you may find. That's cool. So there's a weather system. Look, the gang's all here. It's like he never left. <laughs> Riding in on his trusty Paris or office. As he is wont to do. <laughs> well, we, we need we need to name it appropriately. I know that this Paris or office's name is Lucky canonically yeah. in the game, but we need to name it appropriately and name it RAV4. 
Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's adorable. It's extremely cute. Oh, it's so cute. So we're, we're starting. We have a little rundown farm. Um, is it? Are the hands accurate though? <laughs> oh my god. Is is it the Kratnus beat crack? No, this is not what this is for. This is for good vibes. This is for good vibes. And it looks good. It does. It's is it very small? Cute. It is a touch small. Like I feel Parasaurolophus was big. Parasaurolophus. A, a lot of hadrosaurs. Like I always, I always think of them as like horse sized, and then I see them in a museum, and it's like this is an elephant. Yeah. Yeah. But Maybe it's a little young one. It doesn't really matter. And we're gonna give him a pat on the nose. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, and we're gonna give him a treat. Oh. Okay. Uh, all of us can have a little juicy. A juicy pop pop As a treat. With the cupcake put my hands. Okay. And... Amazing. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's Lucky's a girl. I'm sorry, Lucky. I've been calling him saying he. Ooh, bad luck. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Is this going to be your little house? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a, a sleeping patch. Okay, perfect. There's what even kind of money was this guy making that he could buy a piece of land? Oh, yeah. This is honestly like... This setup right here, pretty nice. I don't know what a dreamstone is, but I presume we'll find out. Goodness, Bye. This is so cute. All right. Oh, time to go. Time to go to my new, my new little house. Uh oh. <laughs> There's Debris. Not the Debris. <laughs> well, hopefully. Oh no! It's too big for him to move. He he's not strong enough. <laughs> we need the help of Lucky this you goof. multi-ton dinosaur to move Please this. Please help me move the Debris. Move the Debris. <laughs> Thank you, Lucky. Oh, Lucky is so powerful. <laughs> and he loves right, it. An oh, she loves it. Oh, damn. Back in your little sleepy zone next to the Dreamstone. I don't know what that does. It it collects his dreams. That sounds ominous. We got um, there's a, there's something living under the island. It feeds on dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Some resources. Approach the ladder and press to go to bed. All right, let's go to sleep. Oh, that's adorable. Oh. Ooh, so do we think? You'll be able to go into your little house in the completed version? I hope so. I think I saw in the trailer that you could buy furniture, so. Oh. Okay. Morning, Lucky. It may also just be once you're out of like the tutorial that you can go into it. Now about breakfast. Oh. More people. Oh Ooh, my gosh. And they gosh. have feathered friends. I, th lore? I think that one's a Utah Raptor on the left. I think, yeah, we got like a Utah Oh, it's like patterned that. after a... Lumberjack. Oh my gosh. I, I, I know. It kind of looks like the Safari. Yeah. Not... Alex, you were going to say? Like, yeah. Well, no, people are always like, you know, it's like, oh, wow, you patterned your Velociraptor after a bone-eating vulture. Not very original, which I say, shut up. That's, it's, it's so cool. cool. It looks good. It's one of the prettiest birds of prey, like, period. Is it, that... So is that an Overupturosaur next to it, or no? I think that's a. I think it's a Nornithomimosaur. I think it's a Struthiomimus. I forget exactly the head's what genus. Pretty it short. Is. Well, so is the head on the Parasaurolophus. It's cutesy. Well, I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Yes. What if we talk to Mari and Owen here? Oh my Owen. gums and tongues! That's a very. That's a new expression that I've never heard before. I like that. Jesus. Sh should we be reading these? Should Should we? Should people be reading these for our audience? No. I see, but I swear my blinkers are okay. messing with me. Is that a real <laughs> parasaurolophus? Uh, all right, indeed she is, or her name is Lucky. Why are they surprised by a parasaurolophus when they? Yeah, I need the lore. Like a real parasaurolophus. <laughs> I don't know. 
Is the island where the dinosaurs are? Are, have, are dinosaurs like we'll probably find around for well, a while? Remember, we're role playing as James. So what? WWJD? What would Jimbo do? Um, I don't think he'd, he'd think to tell tell them her name. I think he'd be like, yeah, Do we think there'll be lore, or is that not kind of the vibe? I, don't I know. think there will be. Lore. I bet there'll be lore. <laughs> okay, because I'm very interested. I think there's at least one like professor character uh, which, who might be here. I really like the different kinds of trees. It looks very yeah. good. It does. All right, all right. It's we so should pretty. get to this dialogue. So, no, I said to myself, Mari, you can't chase these without Owen, even if it takes him an hour to gather up all his things. He says it wasn't an hour. <laughs> Are they, like, together? I don't know. Um, he likes like, to be prepared. Like, an important feature of games like this is, like, you can romance various people in the town. Maybe. Could we could we get Jimbo to break up a happy marriage? Oh my god! <laughs> we haven't seen one since. It, 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 there might be. It looks like there might be some lore. Okay, it so looks like Parasaurolophus are rare. Yeah, we've they know about them, wow. but they've never actually seen a Parasaurolophus before. Lucky seems surprised by no, this information. But I thought. Hold on. But I thought might reveal. Mm. Oh, you didn't come here hoping for lots of Parasaurolophus, did you? Oh, that's exactly why I came here. I thought I was coming to Paris or all of his pine. I was sold a false bill of goods. So dinosaurs are beyond where this is. Yeah, it seems. Well, uh, there are other dinosaurs, but not Paris or all of his. Huh. Well, he's not ever since the incident. <laughs> they all resonated with their horn at a frequency where they exploded. They find so they're seeing Paris or all of his tracks, but never seeing any Paris or all of his. Mm. Hold on. Hold on. I think I know what's happening. What's happening? This is a sleeper prequel for the Star Trek Next Generation episode arc where it's revealed <laughs> that Parasaurolophus has evolved into warm-blooded, hyper-intelligent, space-faring race, and we're witnessing the transcendence of the species. Is that uh, a real it, thing? It is. Oh yeah, my it god. Ass. It's so cool. The mass exodus of Parasaurolophus from Earth. Oh, and no, I'm sorry. They're not even warm-blooded. They're cold-blooded, which is an important part of the, the episode. So long, and thanks for all the psychads. Yeah. <laughs> no, Star Trek decided they were going to do a, an episode where dinosaurs became super intelligent, and they were like, let's choose the dumb, literally the dumbest ones. <laughs> <laughs> the head em the real head empty, the ones that that their heads were literally full of nothing but empty space and air. <laughs> <laughs> they could have chosen Pachycephalosaurus. There. True. All right. So you are planning on moving in, yes. So, so yes, double yes, or a thousand times yes? Oh well, yeah, this looks yes. like a nice piece of property. What no. would James say? James would just say James yes. James would say yes. Let's not go right. crazy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, I appreciate that there isn't like in a lot of these RPGs that there's like they give you an option like that and then there's just the no like I don't want to play the game option <laughs> just like <laughs> nope it just kicks you to the credits like, alright bye <laughs> and see ya new neighbors anything for an impromptu housewarming gift just the, just the thing Ooh. oh a journal okay this could be handy Oh, we have a dino Pokedex. Tight. Excellent. This was kind of the main thing I wanted to see, which were what species are in the game. Write it all down. And There's a shocking number. What's a shocking number, Scott? Like, I don't know. It just like every time I saw another um, another trailer, I, sw I swear I saw one or two more species, including some kind of surprising not dinosaurs. Like I know Dismatosuchus oh. is in here. I didn't know that. That's yeah. Exciting. Oh, cool. Well, they've given me some herbivores. An Eatosaur? An Eatosaur? I'd right. be surprised. Be surprised. So they've given us a journal and some herbivore food, and you can buy oh. herbivore What's food. What's in the journal? Buy, courtesy of Corlin's Randoms and Abundance. Okay, so that's a store, and it looks like shells is going to be the currency. Okay. If you're looking for more of that or anything else, Pebble Plaza should be your next destination. It's not far, it's got everything. Okay, so some kind of little hub. Make sure you meet Marlo. He'll get you anything you need to fix up this pen and the rest of your ranch. No, Owen, you're right. It's a mess. Oh, Owen, yeah. Owen's corrects you. Sorry, Owen. No, Owen's fine. But we're in. Quests added. Settling in. Okay. That journal will be your best friend. Second best friend. Bye now. Bye.
Goodbye. Have a beautiful Off time. They're riding dinos. That's I like their little saddles. They're very cute. Quest added to the first one. Okay, have a look through your journal. Oh, there's a yeah, there's a story. That there's lore. The Parasaurolophus puzzle was a was a mission that just got added. I have one helper dinosaur, no friends and no residents. Lucky needs attention. Me. Okay, Me, so yeah, it looks yeah. like there's gonna be different seasons based off of the Mesozoic. That's fun. Weather. Wait, the the seasons are Mesozoic. Well, because the season right now is Triassia, so I'm assuming the next is gonna be like Jurassia or something like that. Oh uh, yeah yeah yeah. That's cute. My dinosaur is lucky. Doesn't have a pen. This is Parasaurolophus. Okay. Ultra rare. A sky blue Parasaurolophus is ultra rare. Community. Okay. Oh, Mar and they have their little dino companions there. Paprika. Oh, fun. Paprika Utah the Utah Raptor. Raptor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, find out what the other guys is. Budding day. That's fun. Okay. And there is like a relationship meter, it looks like. Oh. Bongo. Bongo. The mystery dino. Doesn't say. Doesn't say what kind of dino. It looks like it's probably a gal or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, the next season looks like it's going to be Jurassos. Okay. Quests. Oh, my gosh. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff. There's so much in. to do. Some food, visit the plaza, buy more food, talk to Marlo, find the Parasaurolophuses, and ask Owen about the Parasaurolophuses. So that's the big mystery. And meet the locals. All right. And Mari's budding day, the Triassia picnic, Owen's budding day, shenanigan on oh. Wednesday the 17th. Um, and, okay, dress us. I don't uh, know about Wednesday the 17th. But make sure you check back on Saturday the seventeenth for our live stream. Yes, uh, there will be after... multiple shenanigans actually happening. Yeah, quite a few. It's Wisdom Day in Cretum Cretumnus. Cretumnus. What's after Cretumnus? Oh, so it's only three seasons. Triassia two. So then maybe they just repeat. Triassia oh, two. Two James Triassia two. Budding two Day two is uh, the first of Triassia two. Oh, just like in real life. Or no, this is just saying, okay. No, so it's just a three season year. Yeah. So it was spring, summer, fall, no winter. That makes sense. That'd be kind of, anyway. so they're calling our budding day the first of the month. Cause okay, sure. All right. Well, there's the journal. All right, so let's feed our dinosaur. Very expectant. Use this to get some herbivore food. He's like, yeah. Very cute. Okay, so now he quests. So we put some food, so let's go to Pebble Plaza. There we go. Wow, look at that stamina. Oh, what? Oh. A little jittery there. Can I ride? Yeah, I think it's left click there. there. Yeah. I see. I see the little like controller thing down at the bottom right. That's going to get blocked by our thing, unfortunately. Yes, it will. Well, for viewers who can't see because our face cams are in the way, in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, there's like a little, some little icons kind of telling you what stuff is. Maybe in the future, it, it looks like this game might be better to have us on the left. Perhaps. Ooh, Staraxaurus. Go catch it. It's a Pokemon. Valley. Oh my These god. Are very cute. Some kind of ornithomimosaur. Treehouse. Wow. Oh, this is stunning. Look at all those places. Yeah, everyone's house is as much nicer than yours. Can I get these plants? You can. Oh, can you collect them while on Dino back? Oh. Maybe. Okay. Oh, there's, oh, there's a map. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, there's a desert? We are there's here. Big island. There's a desert over there. Oh, my God. It's like, this is the town plaza. There's, there's like misty forests. Jungle, like. A willow, a river. Cool. Those look like monkey puzzle trees. We got a desert. Yeah, what happens if I get off of Lucky and go to these plants? Make notes by equipping your journal and holding. Okay, so if I equip the journal. Hang on. Let me get Lucky out of the way a little bit. There we go. How do I equip the journal? Hmm. 
Let me see if there's a controls thing. So tell me. There is not. So we're going to figure this out together. Do I hold it down? Maybe? No. Uh, maybe I inventory and then you could. Mm. Okay, there we go. Learning yep. is its own event. Plant Amazing. Record. Okay. What's it going to tell us about Clover? Find them around the valley if you're lucky. They're juicy ah. and earthy. Oh, oh, so I guess certain I dinosaurs will probably have different um, different food preferences. Like. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I wonder, can, can you go meet the Styracosaurus? Oh, yeah, take some notes over the Dingosaurus. Hello? Would you like to be my friend? Stop. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh. Look at him trundle around. I take notes on them. <laughs> Come back here. Let me study you. To know. I bet we'll get instructions on how to do this and beat the dinosaurs in the town. Yeah, that's fair. I need to get my calipers. Wait. Scoop to the wood. There's places. little guys. Oh, yeah. What are those little dudes? Hang on. We've got. Pebble Bridge, go to the historian to log this find. Okay, so there's like lore about the places. Oh! I don't care about the bridge. What are those little guys? Little I guys. didn't see them. They're, they're on the other side of the bridge. Oh, Sam? I see. Oh my. Those are Tachosauruses. Oh, Jimbo's going to be so mad. He's going to be so mad. Well, well, he needs to tell us if they're if they're the right species. He's going to go examine them. This is, I'm going to roleplay if they're not. On... Spa. Well, they don't like him. No, 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 they're oh singing. Oh my god, but look how big and cute their eyes are. <laughs> Let me take notes. <laughs> oh, I can scroll. Oh, thank god, okay. What's this stuff? Is, is this more Dreamstone? Who knows? Damn, next we're gonna find Puru. Yeah, Lucky James, is James when, you get, when you get back, you need to tell us if that was Satakasaurus Amitabha. It's not. I mean, it wasn't, but... but I'm just name dropping that, hey, this is the only YouTube channel where you can watch paleontologists play video games and talk about dinosaurs that they've discovered in said video games. <laughs> well, yeah, some of these paleo... Well, paleo pines. I know. It's such... It's... There's no reason to be like that. I can't help myself. Alex, you need that on a t-shirt. There's no reason to be like this. <laughs> and should the, should the back say, but I can't help myself? Yeah. Yes! Yes! <laughs> that's, that's a good t-shirt, I'll, I'll be honest. That is. All right, Agami. You know what? I'll read for Agami. Okay. Uh, my name's Agami, but everyone here just calls me Granny. Damn, I'm sorry. <laughs> you must be looking for Pebble Plaza. Come on, let old granny introduce you to the neighborhood. Oh, she if you don't mind, me. leave your Steve at, steed out here. I said Steve. Leave your Steve out here. Why, <laughs> why, your, why did we let you read? Oh, because I volunteered. <laughs> Shut up. Too many whatnots and whiplets inside to have an eager dino tail swinging around. Uh, swinging I about. Like, I like whatnots and whiplets. Great galloping galleys. Is that a Paris or all of us? I haven't seen one of them in the valley since I was knee high to an Oviraptor. That's very small. So like crawling as a child. <laughs> yeah. like... Ha! What am uh, What am I saying? I'm still knee high to an Oviraptor, but I make uh, but I make up for it with charm and hair. Anyway, yes, Steed's got to stay out here, even if she is a Parasaurolophus. Wow. All right. Well, let's dismount. Don't wander off. Proceeds to wander. <laughs> Bye, Lucky. Oh no. Okay, she's staying there. <laughs> right this right. way. Oh, since I can't hear the audio, do they have like banjo and kazooie style, like when they're no. talking? Or okay. No. 
Welcome to Pebble Did Plaza. You? If we don't got it, you don't need it. Actually, it's more like if we don't got it, you're out of luck. At least um, until the path to Dapplewood is open again. Ooh. Huh? Oh, I bet that was the dappled forest we saw. Probably. I bet so. But that's a problem for another day. Pebble Plaza's here. Uh, Pebble Plaza's a place for ga uh, for gathering and trade. If you've got crops, seeds, uh, bits of wood and stone, someone here will trade for it. Plus, you can trade anything for shells here. We anything. use though. Uh, we use these for <laughs> stop it. <laughs> we use these for sort of a common currency. Go on, here's a view for me, in case you need something, uh, in case you see something you like. Well, thanks, Granny. Wow, 50 shells. I, I don't know if that's a lot or a little bit. It seems like <laughs> a lot right now. Don't spend it all in one place. Yeah, let, let's see what the shell inflation income, uh, economy is. There is there a here. centralized government body that kind of like enforces I don't know. This, the validity of shells? This has given me, like... this has given me commune energy. Yeah. Cool. Because th th they said, like, these are the shells we use these to kind of keep track of transactions. Like, this doesn't seem like a... That isn't how I would describe a dollar to somebody. So this is a glorious communist utopia? You can only hope. Right. That's my stall over there. I've got seeds to grow just about anything, from pumpkins to pineapples. Well, usually anyways. These days, it's more like potatoes to potatoes. Slim pickets these days, I'm afraid. Did I mention the path to the Applewood is blocked? I'm sure I did. This in the biz is what we call foreshadowing. Um, top of the hill, you normally find Poppet. Not today, though. It's big. Pippet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not today, though. <laughs> it's baking day. It's baking day. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, okay. Oh well, Scott, you you weren't off the mark. <laughs> Pippin makes poppins. <laughs> Pippin's real sweet, and poppins are, or well, I'll let you decide for yourself. Tell you what, you come back tomorrow and meet them. They'll sort out, uh, and they'll sort you out with a tasty snack. Well, or a snack. It sounds like it sounds like Granny really, really, really doesn't like what Pippin be bacon. Uh, Granny hates Poppins. What we be Poppin' at Pippins? We don't know much about the lore yet, but we know that Granny hates the Poppins. <laughs> I like beef. <laughs> beef. <laughs> right? I hope, they're both, I hope they're both old. I love beef between old people. I think that's oh, a very funny. I, I, I thought you were just making a declaration that like we were talking about foods that we don't like and, and Alex is just I like, like I like beef. <laughs> That's what I thought. I no. was thinking like that, like that one, f like, uh, video of the little girl just staring out the window, Fine. saying, "I smell like beef" over and over again. <laughs> yes. oh, I man. smell like beef. Agami, uh, right. See that lad behind you? That's Corlin. Okay. If you're after any, uh, if you're after anything, Corlin's the best place to start. He's got everything from flowers to fibrous. Fib dibblers. Cool. I don't know what. Oh, I'm not what? sure if I want to know what a fibrous fib diddler is. Well, I'm sure we'll find out. Oh, man. And over to my right is Mario. Mario, come say hi. It's a me, Mario. <laughs> Woohoo! Where's Mario? No one's. It's Marlo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here comes Mario. <laughs> Not a me, a Mario. Ma Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> All right, who's I, doing Marlo? Or was I'll this a bad Mario. idea? I don't like I don't like this role play it. I think it's too much chatter. Personally. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. I can stop. <laughs> Marlo's the woodsman. Takes care of the trees. That and the sticker log. He can build anything with it. Okay. So Marlo's the carpenter. Sweet. Hands. Looks like there's a lot of wooden structures on this island. Is he an apprentice? I mean, if he were to go, like... Oh, well, it looks like Marlo also needs to get to Dapplewood to get his tools. The local economy has been ground to a halt. Every... Looks like um, Pebble Town depends solely on Dapplewood for almost everything. Hi, welcome... This is not 
Welcome to oh, Pebble Plaza. If you can't find it here, you don't need it. We have nothing. <laughs> Our economy is shambles. You fix that little ranch. Oh, he's gonna give us some uh, a hoe, a shovel, and a watering can. Okay, classic tools of the trade for farming. That is. Enjoy the rest of your day. Ooh. Hope you're ready for an unforgettable luncheon. Bye, Hope Mario. Marlo's a deep <laughs> chat. Oh, well, his name's Mario now. Sorry, folks. <laughs> okay, but now, stop by Agami's stall. Okay. Well, this is a very cute town. Not much of a town, but yes. They got a fountain. It's a town. There's like houses and buildings up there. Yeah. What's this? Ooh, there's like a quest board. Oh my gosh! So it's like The Witcher. Studies to Tachosaurus. Okay, well, hang on. I'm just gonna take that one for James right now. Oh yes, yes. Studies to Tachosaurus. <laughs> and we'll talk to Granny. Some carrot seeds, thank you. Oh, amazing. What else did she have for sale? Uh, trade. Okay, we can get potato seeds and spring onion seeds. We already got some spring onions. I guess and we have some carrots. Potatoes. I don't want to spend. Actually, hang on. We've got 250 shells. Okay, I don't think she gave us that much money. Yeah, she gave us enough to buy two individual potato seeds because she right, gave well, us 50, 50 shells. Thanks, She's Granny. Old. She's the money has inflation. She doesn't understand how much stuff costs anymore. Oh, it's like those stories of just like, oh, my grandma t it had this big inheritance for me. Here's two thousand dollars. <laughs> Rip. Okay, so I have stamina that's not not doesn't seem to be regenerating. Oh, I maybe I it's probably like eat or something. Maybe it's like Stardew Valley. Maybe yeah. That way. Okay, can't go in the gate. What's the quest? Where are the quest logs right now? We got buy herbivore food from Coraline and then return to the ranch. Okay, and then we've got studies to Tachosaurus. Oh, uh, meet meet the locals. We have to talk to the rest of the locals. Yeah, let me go back down here. Okay, so hang on, I think this might be Corlin. I thought the redhead who was like walking around, I thought that was Corlin. Is who it? is this? Who are you? Identify yourself. Papers, please. Sir. <laughs> Peace, speak cease your movement. Speak friend, then. Do you have to journal him? Nar Narivar. Ooh, careful. <laughs> come, come to the heart chamber, Narivar. I'm gonna put you in my journal. Please sign my diary. <laughs> Here's Corlin, so yeah, I'm Corlin. Locals, chat. It's not for sale, you don't need it. Well, you got me there. Okay, so he sells full potatoes, pears, hang on, a sort of long apple. That is an apt description of a pear. A sort of long, I wasn't reading the item descriptions. That's incredible. <laughs> okay, we got carnivore food, a saddle, tater, what does the potato say? I need to read the description. Humble, versatile, delicious. The best vegetable. And I can't I, disagree. That's correct. I like it's the sugar. It's very versatile. We're returning to the beef. <laughs> sugar, Pippin never uses this. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Pippin's poppins aren't very sweet. Everybody <laughs> hates these. The item descriptions are roasting this guy. Rice, it's a popular ingredient. Okay. Flour, not to be confused with W-E-R. Okay. That's fine. Herb. Delicious with or without the H. And pompous grass. It's a pompous party. Bye for now. It's a pompous party. Oh, we need to buy herbivore chow. Oh, that's right. Thank you. Two bells now, or er, shells. Oops. Bells. Oh, no. That's going to be a mistake I make off. But I can confirm it. I like that they're little ammonite shells. That's cute. That's really, really sweet. I like that a lot. Problems, let me know. Okay, so you got that. Let me see what, what do you got over here, mister. Here, Dr. Jimbo. Custom order. Oh, okay, so here's where we build like furniture and stuff. Ooh. Lots of options, that's Oh fun. my God, I'm gonna put so many hours in this game. <laughs> yeah, I can tell I'm gonna be playing this on the, the Dalton account later. Um, What do you trade with? Okay, you can give me a small trough, a wooden gate and a wooden rope fence. 
Excellent. Okay. Um, we still gotta meet some people. There's a little like library over here. Oh, the emergency. Oh, they need soap. Well, I can't help you. With that. Jimba doesn't have that. How are you doing for meet the locals? The Italian's body produces a natural kind of cleaning agent called grease. <laughs> called marinara sauce. <laughs> oh, well, we can't be. We can't even complete this right now because we can't meet Pippin. Yeah. It's big. Okay. But who are you? Never mind. Okay, well, let's go back to the ranch. Meanwhile, I like their fountain. It looks like some kind of little solar sword. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe an earth. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what was James that? James is in the Discord. James is in the Discord? Yeah. Well, hi there, James. You can see. I hope you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> show, show him the quest with, with study Satakosaurus. <laughs> well, he can't hear us. No, but he can see. Study Tatakasaurus is on the screen if he's watching. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, we're going to stop. Before you go. Stop. You violated the law. It is a bit of a fixer up. You're right, Mario. I need to post it. Fixer up range, Mike. Okay, he's going to help us fix up the place. That's very kind of you. I always love that, like, the inciting incident in these games is like, hey, our town's like a f pile of shit, but at least some new guy moved in, uh, and you seem nice enough that we could trick you into doing all the manual labor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. It's cool. I respect it. I respect that form of self-governance. <laughs> I feel a little guilty letting it go in such state. Anyway, still, then it's now, and now it's for now. See how beautiful it can be again. Best to start small. Oh. Lucky's going Not nuts. Lucky. Lucky's got the zoomies. <laughs> Close look. In the meantime, old fence posts lying around. Okay, so I'm gonna go look for some fence posts. I found them. Jesus, Jimbo's way stronger than I remember him being. Just <laughs> pulling whole fence posts out of the ground with no tools in his bare hands. That's insane. <laughs> Bro, he on that gain set. No doubt. Okay, well, I found two. Is that how what you mean? Were, how many were we supposed to find? I didn't get a number, but maybe it'll tell me if I look at the quest list. Three is like a three, five, or ten. Four. Those are round quest numbers. Is this one? Oh, oh over there. Over there. To your right. Oh, I see. Yep. Two o'clock. Why they call him Jimbo Tight? Good enough. Still here. Okay, so we're gonna get to like the crafting. Be fun. Use inventory to equip a fence post. Okay. Start over oh. here. Oh, oh, this is nice. Move the fence post. Okay, so you use you use like WASD to move around the, the stuff. I think it's called WD forty. Oh, and it like auto fills in gaps. That's fun. That's nice. Every pen needs a gate. All right, let me put a gate down, move it to the indicated spot. Okay. Oh my god. This is very, I'm having a lot of fun with the stream coming up and then ha me having to restart it. Couple of pens. Here, feel free to pick up sticks, drop it anywhere on the property. Easy to move the pen than the boulder. Oh, jeez. Wow. Yeah, dino zoomies. Bye, Dr. Jimbo. Uh, Bye, Lucky Two. I mean, it's Mario. I mean, Mario. <laughs> Mario! Is that. Oh. Let's give her a pat. Good job. Pat, pat. Well done. How are we doing for food? Um, I took the food away. Oh, no. I didn't oh, mean no. To do that. But now I can just put it. I'm going to rotate it. This Parasaurolophus sitting in a lush enclosure full of ferns and trees. You took away my only food. <laughs> now, now I'm, I'm gonna, gonna starve. starve. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we go. Cool. Lucky is happy. 
All right, what's the next, what's our next quest? Um, all right, looks like we've got everything done for the ranch for now. So let us, can we ride Lucky? I like that he, that guy came to help and he didn't even help with the house. He's like, yeah, sure, let's finish this fence for this dinosaur that doesn't <laughs> run away. Goodbye. No, like... <laughs> Okay, let's go back into town. Um, oh, what got our stamina back up? Oh, that's Lucky's. Yeah, that's Lucky's stamina. Yeah, hey, look, pay attention. Oh, can we study the pack, uh, the the Cetacosaurus? Let's try. I think the quest is to do it while they're sleeping. Is it? Yeah, it's a uh, study a wild Cetacosaurus oh, while it's there. You have to wait until they're getting their honk shoes. Can but we knock it out? Uh, <laughs> I don't think shovel. it's this kind of, that. I don't think it's that kind of game, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> night, night. Welcome to the cozy, cozy game Paleo Pines, where we crack a shovel over the back of the head of a pet of a Cetacosaurus. <laughs> oh, Jimbo left us. Oh, oh, bye, Jimbo. Uh, what do we got for quest? So we gotta meet Pippin, which we still can do. Find, I'm gonna try and find Owen and investigate the path. Okay, maybe maybe we want to go explore the world some more as opposed to the okay. town. I think we've seen everything there is to see in town. What's up this way? See if we can find more dingosaurs. That is the ultimate goal, I think, is to find as many dingosaurs as we can. I wanna be. Oh, ah. I found more dingosaurs. Yes. Hi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I know from the trailer that like you get like a special like pipe that you can use to like communicate with the dinosaurs, like a, a little fluke. Mm -hmm. Oh my well, god. That, I think should be our goal is to get the little the little dinosaur food. That's kind of like maybe I'm misremembering. Did something like comparable to that exist in the Dinotopia stuff? Oh god, I think um, it was in the I think it was in the movie. Or the one of the shows. Maybe. I mean some of the dinosaurs in Dinotopia just talk too. I forgot that. I don't think we can get past the boulder. Okay, so these boulders are blocking the path to Dapplewood. We figured that out. So we gotta get some kind of dingosaur to clear these boulders. I'd guess something like a Ceratopsian or Pachycephalosaur or something like that. Yeah. Probably. It's all very pretty. The art direction in this game is stuck. Like this is yeah. this is so cute. Okay, here's someone's little house. Maybe they maybe they'll tell us more. Hello. Ding Who's dong. Living? I don't know Mari well enough. Okay, so this is Mari's house, but we can't stay at her house overnight. Fair enough. That'd be. Well, you've discovered the Ewok village. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. No. Yep. No. Please don't copyright strike Disney. Ba, ba, ba. That's why the Parasaurolophus are so rare. Ewoks are known are known carnivores. <laughs> they are. Okay, there's like a telescope and a little dinosaur desk. That's fun, uh, but useless. <laughs> okay, but now we know this is Mari's house. Oh. Can, oh man, it doesn't let you like Skyrim hop down mountains. No. That's a little sad. Lucky's got a boost. Skyrim, this is a strong bridge. Yeah, this is a multi-ton animal, and that is a very sturdy rope bridge. Well, they have to build, you know, their can I journal from the back built with dinosaurs in mind. No, I No, I gotta get off, okay. I don't want to try. Camel Bloom. Is that a real flower or is that made for the game? Uh, it's not 
something that I know. How's it spelled? T-A-M-A-B-L-U-M-E. It looks like an egg. It does look like an egg. It's full of protein and a key ingredient. Okay, I think this is a, the, the flour equivalent of an egg. That's flour key. egg. I will pick it. I will pick your flour eggs. Wait, sorry, how's it spelled one more time? T A M A B L U M E. T A M A. Ooh, can you check out the cat tails? B L U M E. Tamarind. Ah, oh, sad. The legume. Yeah, it's tamarind, not tamarind. No, I'm just looking for similar thing. No, it, I mean, given that it looks like an egg, I think it's made up. Oh, there's a sleeping stone back. Yeah, but they're surrounded by big old mean boulders. You must teach your Parasaurolophus rock smash in order to get past those. <laughs> yeah. Would Pokemon be considered like a cozy game or is it too combat focused? I think it's too combat focused. It's a I mean, too it's like focus. it's pretty fully just like a, a JRPG. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Go back there for a second. Did you see that you picked up some herbivore food from just walking over it? Oh, cool! Look at this. I mean, yeah, it what? makes sense. Yeah. Just eat the grass, so you could just find some of the yummy grass. Nice. That has troubling implications for carnivore food, but <laughs> don't worry about that. You can okay, pick so it off of the fresh carcasses of the dinosaurs that you've slaughtered. That path's blocked by the river. Oh, there's like a windmill up here, though. I want to see. Oh, I bet that's the path we can't go up. Zoom in. Insert bench up here. Neil deGrasse. Oh, there's more food. There's oh, but there's also oh. a lot more dinosaurs. Oh! Over there, but oh, we got Carithosaurus. Carithosaurus, oh, cool. They're cute. Stegos. I think Wueros. Wueros. Yeah, are low. Yeah. Great. Oh, and Pachycephalosaurus. Oh, that's what we need. Yeah. Okay, we gotta we gotta find someone who can tell us how to make these dinosaurs our pals. We do. <laughs> What's over here? What are these blue guys? Rocks. What I guys? can't see. <laughs> Man, what is this? <laughs> what are these? Ah. No, 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 no. Does dyslexia see, translate to object? No, no, no. See, this is this is a real paleontologist experience. You're going around in the middle of nowhere trying to see if something's a dinosaur or just a random rock. <laughs> hey, here's it's some usually drums. a rock. It's usually a rock. That's a very pretty Utah Raptor. Oh, okay. Well, again, I lack the implements with which to befriend you. I am. Ah, but I so can learn about a boulder. That the color was listed in like the notes, so like there, there are probably color variants, right? Yeah, there yeah. are. Uh, we've seen yeah. a couple of them. Like some of the Bacchusephalosaurus were pink, and some of them were not. I've Ooh. discovered limestone. Go to the historian plot. So there's a historian somewhere. Hmm. Uh, maybe. Well, it sounds like the shady place is the big, bigger town. He might be there. Yeah, maybe. So we need to find Owen, clear the boulder, study a Pachycephalosaurus. Maybe. I have I have two thoughts here. Lucky would like more penmates. Oh, it's more than I. Um, have. I have some thoughts, which is we. It's possible if we keep exploring that we'll find whoever it is we need to find. <gasps> what are you? I think maybe these are the Desmatosuchuses. No, 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 no. What? What are you? What are these? Skeletosaurus, maybe. Oh, maybe Skeletosaurus. Yeah. They don't look yeah, Skeletosaurus. They don't look Skutelis. I don't know. Oh, what are they? They could be Desmatosuchus. They're not Desmatosuchus. I've seen the model. They're definitely not. Oh, Ooh, oh my that God, looks so pretty. It's an Ankylos. I bet you guys would be great at smashing boulders. Ah, but there's some plants I could learn about. Cranberries. Okay, I know those are real. <laughs> Quick, Google Love that. that. Ocean Love spray facts. taught me. They don't grow on a bush. <laughs> ah. They grow in a bog. They grow in bogs. They grow in like mats, and that's why, like, you see pictures of people standing in lakes of them because they're in. They 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 grow in bog. I just kind of wanted to visit a cranberry bog. bog. I feel like they're very cool. Yeah, well, yeah. bogs in general are really cool. I am so curious as to what these little guys are. 
Me too. Okay, so I have so either we can find the person we need to talk to by just wandering around, or we may just need to sleep to progress it to the next day. We might need to. I'm gonna slowly bring us back to back to the ranch. Amelia. Yeah. Are there cranberry bogs in Wisconsin? Am I remembering that yep. correct? Yep. I th I believe we might even be the top producer of cranberries. I thought I remembered seeing that when we visited as a, as a child once. So your state's good for some. We're good for a lot of things. Thank you very much. Perhaps this will come useful later. Okay. Oh, pick more sure. of the pick more of the um oh, yeah. clovers. It's full on JRPG thing of like collect everything Fuck. all of the time. Absolutely. I'm also going to take a brief sojourn over to this boat. So I have a number now. Wisconsin produces 60% of the country's cranberry. Crop. Wow. Damn. Wow. Yeah. That's a crop. Sure is, yeah. Are there some in, are there some in Vermont, too? Oh. That was mean. Thank you. Here's Zach, everyone, on the YouTube channel. Hi, Zach. Hi, Zach. Hello, everyone. You can see his arm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna oh. I'm just gonna eat these chia seeds raw just oh, right on the <laughs> On stream on camp. <laughs> Bye. Welcome to the Chia Seed Mukbang episode of <laughs> The Skeleton Cart. Looks like we found Owen. Maybe he'll teach us how to dinosaur. Hello, welcome to my house. I don't, know, that's what I don't mind the mess. Or what mess? What would James say? I think he would say I don't mind. He would acknowledge that there's a mess there. Yeah. Okay. How's the, how's the new house? Have you worked out a plan yet? Yes. Yeah, Just it's also it. like l easy for us to say. Our house is like barely holding it together. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're was... sleeping under the stars with Lucky. Our house is foreclosed. <laughs> our house. In the middle of our house. Next time I maybe I'll see you a couple pause later. In the middle of our house. Well, our we house. Because... I want in you the to middle teach. of our house. And to tell you what, your di his dinosaur has glasses. Oh my god. Or it might, might just be like the bright uh, one. Yeah. But I choose to believe it's glasses. Me too. I'll be with you in a moment. Huge entry regarding where restores diets. I'll write this down now. Our house. Uh, that's something James would say. Yes. I'd oh, love really? to read your work sometime, yep. Stop writing. The mystery of the Paris or all of this might be a brilliant climax. If reference books had climaxes at it. I wish, that'd be fun. That would be. <laughs> all evidence points to the contrary. Just the snack will brighten her up. How about a mango? Ooh, I don't think she's tried mango before. Researching dino diets. Okay, so quest updated the Parasaurolophus puzzle. Owen, that's not what I wanted, but fair enough. Now we gotta go ask Granny about the Parasaurolophuses, but also try feeding Mango, or Lucky a Mango, not Mango a Lucky. Oh no. <laughs> mango ate our Parasaurolophus. Accept this Mango. Do you like? It looked like it. There were hearts I think, that came out. I think Lucky liked the Mango. Well, this is a, a nice, this is another lovely treehouse. Hang on, can you, can you help? Look, I can talk to you. Or is this just to be pet you? you Bongo! Oh. Oh my oh. gosh! <laughs> that was great. Loved that. Okay, so we're done with him. So let's go talk to Granny. Where are we? We are here, so we need to go down the road, down to the bridge, okay. Am I going the right way? No. Afterburners on the Parasaurolophus. <laughs> it's like that clip from the past 10 that you were showing me, Alex, where they activate the NOS on the dam. We're activating NOS on the Parasaurolophus. Yeah. I went... I may have gone too went far in, in exactly the wrong direction. Listen, I'm channeling George Lucas. I may have gone too far in some places. Okay, I see. Yeah, we need to go this way. Over the stone bridge, not the wooden bridge. Yes. I'm getting a phone call, but I think it's just from the city telling us that they're going to be street sweeping, so I'm not going to answer. 
they call you and tell you? I I've like set myself up to alert when it's in my like my zone. That way I don't uh, get towed. Oh, Ew! <laughs> okay, now we're gonna have to get off our house in the middle of our house. Granny, what do you know about Paris or Office? Oh, I saw one when I was very young. Yeah. Sleep in. Put your bed sheets. Gotta clear that path to Dapplewood. Gotta clear the path to Dapplewood. Any Paris or Olympus out there? <laughs> My family lived in the younger generations. Okay, so now we really gotta get to Dapplewood. Baryonyx. Baryonyx full of beetroot. Oh my gosh. All right. I'd like to see a Baryonyx. Folksy, what about isms? Um, okay, talk to Granny at her house in Dapplewood. So the next thing we got to do is clear the path to Dapplewood, but I think now perhaps the sun's getting low. Let's go back to the house and sleep. Mm. During the loading screen, it was showing the different seasons, and I was trying to figure out what the the Cretaceous one reminded me of. Cr Cret Autumn, perhaps? No, 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 no. The spelling Cretumna. It it reminded me of the Parks and Rec episode where um, what's his face? Rob Lowe's character has his management seminar thing that he calls like Cretumps or something, <laughs> and that has now been all I've been able to think about. This I feel weird. like it's probably trying to invoke a Tumnal. Probably, yeah. Or Mr. Tumnus, and they're big Narnia fan. Yeah. Who is that? That's the satyr? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So which ah, of, which okay. of these dinosaurs is actually Jesus? <laughs> All right. Well, Lucky, enjoy your pen. I'm going to go into I my. I really got into those. The Narnia books? Yeah. I read them all, I enjoyed them. I did too. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let me write in the diary to save our progress. Keep playing. Okay, we can store stuff in the house. Oh, that's, that's good. Oh, we have a we have a bunch of stuff. Maybe like the seeds and stuff. We definitely yeah. need those. Store those. I'm gonna store everything for now, except for the journal and the tools. Okay, you can Oh, I was about to say. I'm like, do you have to individually click and drag? Nope. Yeah. Okay, so there's that, and go to sleep. Such Good night, cute, sleepy Paris or all of us. Such a cute animation. Punk shoe, he says. I bet he makes a mighty honk. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Lucky. You be found, Lucky. My old hey! Flute. Okay, we got the flute. So this is what we're gonna—I think how we're gonna tame dinosaurs. Let's have a toodle, shall we, for old times' sake? Oh, well, I'd ask it. You never call it that again, but sure. <laughs> James is gonna toodle his flute. Oh one, God. Two, three, four, to play different notes. Uh, and it, <laughs> I'm going oh, to say something terrible. Oh, the the notes have different symbols, so you gotta play them like that. Those are the things, the shapes that the dinosaurs make. So you gotta uh, match them, I bet. Play Freebird. <laughs> oh, I'll get the spinning rat. Oh, there's like commands. Follow what? Me. Oh, that's so cool. Stay here. Play four, four, four to let her go back to what she was doing. As you were. <laughs> Maybe I never had. It. I'll keep practicing. Oh. The, sh the the sad realization that you're not a good flute musician. <laughs> Me. But here comes day. Granny. I find reed instruments incredibly hard. Are flutes even played with reeds? Have no, I they aren't. Them? They're woodwinds. They're woodwinds, but they don't have a reed. I've embarrassed myself even further. Oh, what was that? That was you? Well, keep practicing. You'll get there one day. A granny also brutally on <laughs> Well, remember, she was also roasting uh, Pippin. That's true. Just well, she walks up and it's just like, is your Parasaurolophus okay? I thought I heard something dying. Oh, you were playing the flute. <laughs> Plant some seeds. I also literally woke up itching. Mary's spare bed gives me the scritches, but 
I have to do until I can get back home. Right, come on, come on. No time to dawdle. Get your hoe out. Okay. Well, let's play it with Granny and then Me we'll on call a Friday it night. <laughs> <laughs> that handy wee hoe gets the soil ready for seeding. Very important step. Okay, well, let's. I always this is the part of like farming games that I always hate, which is like picking the patch of land you want to till. Mm -hmm. We'll start just with a little garden over here. Oops. Our house in the middle of the street. I mean, how many plots do you want, Granny? Four. Four. Okay, just enough to make an L. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So I brought a few seeds. Like our started. farm. It's an L. Okay. She's on. subtly L reinforcing farm. what she thinks of you throughout the game. <laughs> L. Plant some seeds. Equip some seeds. Oh, you stored them in your house. Your granny gave me oh. more. You know, my grandson was supposed to get this plot of land, but you outbid him. <laughs> <laughs> well, the carrots already. Right. Yippee! Yippee! Okay, we gotta get James to say yippee more. Yes, we do. We're not done yet. Whip out that watering can. Let me just whip this out. Pond over there. Okay, so we gotta fill up the watering can. Ah. Maybe at the... Yeah. yeah. There we go. Time to get muddy. All right, let's water these. Also me on a Friday night. <laughs> you and your muddy hose. <laughs> hey man, uh, <laughs> got some. I, I I catch Scott every every Saturday night in the mud wrestling pit. <laughs> Undisputed miss it. champion, He's the best one in there. All right, don't forget your seeds because nobody's gonna buy a patch of wet dirt. Water crops every day. You skip the rainy ones. Okay, you might be surprised to discover what dinosaurs can be. Help help us sword, help her swords of all shapes and sizes. All right, add a girl. Okay, so we're gonna grow some carrots for Granny. And I think that's where we're gonna call this episode of our uh, look into Paleo Pines. Tune in soon for another episode where maybe will the skeleton crew learn how to tame a dinosaur other than Lucky? Will the carrots grow or will they wither? <laughs> Rot away. Find out next time on Paleo Pine. And do remember that on June 17th, this coming Saturday, once again from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern Time, we'll be having our charity live stream to benefit the Trevor Project. As part of that live stream, we will be continuing this playthrough of Dr. Jimbo's time in Paleo Pines, and we will be joined by one of the devs from the game. We're really excited to talk to them about, you know, their inspiration for the game, how they integrate the dinosaurs into the cozy game atmosphere. This game I, it is really cute. I think everyone, are we all having a good time? Yeah. This, this is, is delightful. Oh, delightful. Yeah. So come join us on Saturday to benefit the Trevor Project and see more Paleo Pines. And stay tuned for more Paleo Pines content. And once again, thank you to the developers. Thank you very much for providing us with the, the key to the demo here. We're really excited to be a part of your kind of early Steam Next Fest push. To, to get the demo into the hands of people and we're looking forward to the full release in the fall um, and with that thanks for watching and bye bye everybody bye bye everybody cut, cut that <laughs> yeah you don't have to tell me